Hello and welcome to another bridge tutorial and this video we are going to be messing about with recipes so have you ever wanted to be able to make your own saddles look at that we can add a crafting recipe for saddles how about you're getting tired of digging that gravel for flint we can do that we can turn gravel straight into flint we can even have a look at this I've got leather, uh, sorry, rotten flesh in the furnace cooking into leather. In the blast furnace. In the smoker. We can even... Hold on, let me grab some of that out. We can even pop it on the campfire, look. And we can dry out that rotten flesh into leather. And how about this one is completely overpowered. I reckon inside this dirt there could be some diamonds. Look at that. So stick around. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so into bridge, the first thing we're going to do is create ourselves a new project. So I'm going to call this uh, custom recipes. That makes sense. Our project namespace, I always use cyan. You could use whatever you want here. And then the description is, I'm just going to put tutorial for recipes. Okay, so that is that done. We need to select our version. So the most stable you can see here is 116.100. So I'm going to use that. If you're watching this later on, then use whatever version is the stable one for you and go create. So we've now got our behavior pack set up. Resource pack, we shouldn't need one unless you've got custom bits and pieces and you've already got a pack on the go. That's that. But all we need to do is go to new file. And then we're going to scroll down to recipe. Okay, you see this little, what is that, like a little notepad page maybe? And the first one we're going to, going to do is the shaped recipe. So I'm thinking saddle. Yeah, we make a saddle recipe. Okay, so I'm going to go blank shaped recipe. And we're going to go create and then at the top here straight away let's do the auto fix so we get our format version set up and then from here we have our minecraft recipe shaped we've got description and we've got our tags and nothing's filled in yet so our identifier if we come down and click add value that's automatically going to come up with our work namespace so that for me that's cyan and then the recipe is called saddle and then in tags we're going to click zero we're going to go add value and then in here is basically what you want to use to craft so in our case it's going to be a crafting table next thing we want to do is click back up at recipe shaped click add object and here we're going to go for pattern okay and this is so now think when you're looking at a crafting bench you've got the three rows made up of three blocks each so imagine the top row being zero the middle row being one and the bottom row being two so i'm going to click on zero and then what we could do here so my saddle recipe as you saw is basically a leather helmet with a tripwire hook um so what i'm going to do is in add value i'm going to think so the top of the row we could leave empty and if we want to make sure it's left empty, then I'd put in three spaces. So I'll go space, 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 and then press enter. So it looks like nothing's there, but what I'm actually doing is telling it to keep those slots empty. Okay. I'm going to then go back into pattern. We're going to go number one. We're going to go add value, and I'm going to go L, L, L. Okay. So for me, I'm using L for lever. Okay. And then lastly, row two, we're going to go add value. And then I'm going to use L, T, L. Okay. So it's really hard to see because the zero is empty as such. And we can actually remove that. But basically, the top row is empty. Then we have lever, lever, lever. And then lever, tripwire hook, lever. Okay. What this means is, is the top row is going to have to be empty, but I'm actually going to remove that top row. Okay, so what this means is we can either do the top two rows in the crafting bench or the bottom two rows. 
okay this will make more sense when you have a little play around yourself remember a lot of this i'm going to show you how how to do it and then you can obviously you know play after that and work out what you want to do so back up to minecraft recipe shaped we're going to add object and we're now going to do key so now we can define what each of those letters mean so add object and you can see here that your key letters so the capital L that we've used and the capital T are both showing up. I'm going to click the L. We're going to go add object and we're going to go item. And then over in the middle column here, this add value, I'm going to find leather. Okay, so we've got all the leather things there, but we want just leather. Okay. And then while we're still in key here, or sorry, click key again, add object. Now click our T. We're going to want item and then over in add value, we are going to want our tripwire. There we go. Tripwire hook. Okay. So, so far we've told the game, okay, it's going to be in the crafted table. We've shown the pattern. We've explained what the pattern means. And the last thing we want to do is click back up to recipe shaped and we're going to go result. Okay. And we're going to add object. We're going to click zero. And then we're going to go for item and then over in add value here now we should be able to find saddle and if you wanted more than one for whatever reason then in the result we're going to go count and then you could add here however you many want however many you want so i'm going to click one here so you only get the one saddle and then i'm going to do Control s to save it and that's done Okay, so we're going to go into the game and we'll give that a check. Okay, so I'm in a brand new world. I've just grabbed myself some leather, tripwire hooks and a crafting table. So let's pop that down and let's make sure this works. So let's get rid of that. And it should, if you were in survival, it would actually come up in your crafting bench, but um, in, your, in your menu here. But let's do our leather helmet and then pop the tripwire hook and there you go. We can now craft saddles okay so that's a shaped recipe um that's probably one of the more complicated ones but i ha i am going to go and show you now how to do a shapeless recipe okay so back into bridge so just quickly i'm going to explain that a shapeless recipe would be something like when you're making a flint and steel it doesn't matter where you put that iron and flint it's going to make that flint and steel for you so what we want to do is come up to the top and we want new file again we're going to scroll down to the recipe and we are going to go and call this, I'm thinking, flint from gravel. Okay, and we're going to go for a blank shapeless recipe. Okay, click create, auto fix your format version and then up here, it's very, very similar. So our identifier here is going to be, it should auto fill. So you can see here. We've got our workspace name and then we've got flint from gravel and then in the tags we're going to click zero and we are going to click crafting table now that doesn't mean you have to use a crafting table and i will show you when we go back into the game how that works i'm going to click back up to recipe shapeless and then in add object you're now going to see that instead of having a pattern and a key we've just got ingredients Okay, and the ingredients we're going to add is we're going to do add object zero, we're going to do item, and then we're going to go for gravel. Okay, we're also, whilst, while we're still in here, we're going to do count, and we're going to make that two. So the idea being that this recipe, we take two gravel, okay, and then we go back up to the recipe shapeless at the top here, and we're going to go result add object zero we're going to go item and we are going to go for flint and that is it okay really easy stuff i'm going to save that we're going to load back into minecraft and i've still got the pack active and then let's in here we are going to go and grab ourselves some gravel and i'm even going to go game mode if i can type mode survival okay and this will now work 
in our normal 2x2 two two crafting. And you can see it doesn't matter what order I put that in. It's working. Okay, we're getting our flint. And the same in the crafting bench. We can put them anywhere we like. Okay, and it's always going to work. Because it's shapeless. As long as it's, as long as it's seeing that we've put two gravel in. Then we're going to get our piece of flint out of there. Okay, so moving on. So we've got standard recipes there. Normal Minecraft stuff. We can make stuff out of other stuff. That's that's what Minecraft's all about. The next thing I want to show you is actually how to create new uh, furnace recipes. So cooking things, basically. So we're going to go new file again. We're going to scroll down. Click our recipe. And I'm thinking we do flesh to leather. Okay, this is quite a common one that people love to add. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to scroll down. You can see here, blank furnace recipe. Okay, and we're going to go create. We're going to do the same again, format version, auto fix. We're going to open up our recipe furnace. And you can see here that we've got a few things on the go. Okay, the identifier, as before, is the identity of the recipe. So we're going to, this is going to be cyan, flesh, leather. Obviously, your workspace name will be different you could have left it at bridge or it might be dave or whatever you whatever you want to call it okay so now into tags and this time we're actually going to use more than one tag so firstly we're going to go zero and then in here we're going to go for furnace so this now means that this recipe we can basically grab our flesh and cook it into leather in a furnace but you might want to add more ways of cooking it so obviously if we look here and we we go add object we can add another tag and in add value you can see that actually there's the blast furnace there's the campfires there's the smoker and there's the soul campfire so you can now go ahead and actually add all of these in all you've got to do is keep adding to the tag we're gonna go so what we got there we've got furnace we've got blast furnace let's go for smoker we're going to add number three. We're going to go for the soul campfire. We're going to go another one. We're going to add the normal campfire. And I think that covers all the different ways of cooking. Then what we have is our input. So what we're going to do here. Hold on. Let me make sure it's selected properly. Ah, there we go. I'm trying to add an object. I'm wrong. Add value. Okay, this is what's really handy about Bridge is you can derp out sometimes and you, you'll almost feel like you're doing something wrong. So let's look for rotten flesh. Okay, so our input is rotten flesh and our output is going to be leather. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to control S to save that. I'm going to load up Minecraft again. Let's jump into our world where our pack is active. And let's go back into creative. And I'm going to grab, let's get rid of all of this stuff. So we want a furnace of both sorts. We want a smoker. And we're going to want a couple of campfires. So we'll grab one of each of those. We're also going to want some rotten flesh obviously because that's what the recipe is asking for and we're also going to want some coal or any sort of fuel okay so let's pop all of these down so we've got the furnace the blast furnace the smoker the two campfires okay now the campfires obviously you don't need to fuel and i can just right click look at that the zombie flesh is going onto the campfire if we go into the smoker and let me just, doesn't really matter how many I put in. There you go. You can see the smokers working. The blast furnace is working. And lo and behold, so is the furnace. So let's just wait. How long does the campfire take? Are they going to pop off soon? There we go. There we go. Look at that. They're all popping off. I've already got some lever on me. 61 there. But you can see that works a treat. We've got leather cooking in the smoker, leather cooking in the blast furnace, and leather cooking in the normal furnace. And obviously, if you don't want all of them to cook leather, then don't add all of them in the tags part. 
And that is that. The last thing I want to show you, and this is a really cool one. This is super cool. So let's close this now. And if we just have a look. So we've done our saddle. We've done our flint from gravel. We can cook flesh into leather. But I want to add one more. And this is for the stone cutter. Um, so we're going to go recipe again. And I'm thinking dirt to diamonds. And we're going to go for a blank shapeless recipe. Okay, so we've already used the shapeless recipe. But last time in our tags, we used the crafting table. So click your format version, get that fixed. Description, identifier, same as before. We click our name. We're going to go tags now. And in here, so we're going to go zero, add value. And if you scroll down, you should see stone cutter okay and then we could add more tags but we're not we're not doing that so this is the stone cutter recipe back up to shapeless we're going to add object and we're going to add ingredients zero and we're going to go item and we're going to go dirt okay so the ingredient is dirt. we're going to go back up to minecraft recipe shapeless and we're going to go result zero item and then we are going to go oh if i can if i can spell we're going to go diamond okay so i'm going to go control s that's now saved we're going to load back into minecraft and this is very very overpowered um let's grab a stone cutter there it is i'm going to pop that down i'm even going to go back into survival we're going to literally grab dirt from the ground, go into the stone cutter. We're going to pop that in and boom, we can get diamonds. And this is really cool because if we actually come back out and into bridge and then what we can do. So we have our dirt to diamonds recipe. We can close that and I'm actually going to click on it over here. I didn't mean to open it back up. I'm going to right click and we're going to go duplicate. Okay, and we're going to call this dirt to iron. Why not? Okay, so what I'm going to do is the description. I need to change the name here. So we're going to change that to dirt underscore iron. And then in the result here, I'm actually, I'm going to delete this item. So if, if you can remember the name, obviously it's not going to be diamond. It'll be, I believe it's iron underscore ingot. Then you can just swap it down here. But what I'm going to do is just to make it easier, I'm going to delete the item. I'm then going to add the item back in. And then we're going to look for iron ingot, which is there. I'm going to do control and S to save it. We're going to go back into Minecraft. And rightfully now, let's have a look. Where's my dirt? Let's grab some dirt. Pop this in and you can see there we now have two options okay so you can add as many options as you like you've just got to add a new recipe for each one but as you saw there it's really easy to duplicate it and yeah what can i say now we can get iron as well not as powerful as the diamonds but still nonetheless pretty handy free stuff am i right am i right of course i'm right haha <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this episode. Um, I hope you found it helpful and you're having fun making all your own crazy add-ons and items and recipes and whatnot. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button on the way out. And until next time, take care, stay cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>